Hello. I wanted to help people with a, a few of the issues that have been showing up on a, a small percentage of the first batch of electric eel wheels and uh, just sort of help people sort of visually see um, what to do. So one of the first problems is that um, a, a, a few of the wheels that I shipped out, this front panel um, actually uh, uh, broke off during shipping. I mean, that's probably because it's kind of, you can get quite a bit of leverage here. If you look in here, there's sort of this uh, gap area, which is hard to see, but uh, basically only a little pieces of wood are touching here and here. So um, during the, the first batch of assembly, I used super glue, which did really well in my testing where I kind of put these pieces and I slowly pulled it apart, but super glue is a little bit brittle against uh, sudden jarring, which is kind of what happens during shipping. So um, what we're uh, thinking happens is there's a sudden jar in shipping and that kind of breaks this front panel off and people find that it sort of slides off. That definitely shouldn't happen. And uh, the fix for that is, is really easy. I have a few different types of glue we've tested here. Um, they're all um, different types of wood glue, but uh, any of these uh, work really well and uh, in future batches we'll definitely be ship switching to use one of these types of uh, wood glue which uh, is more durable on the joints um, when there's a sudden jarring like you can get during uh, shipping. But uh, anyways, if people can glue their front panels back, that's great. Sometimes there's a, you know, it's possible there's more damage or, or maybe you just don't feel comfortable with that. Uh, then I'll, I'll replace the eel wheel um, when I get some more in stock. But uh, um, if you could try gluing it and seeing if that fixes it, that would be great. So the way I usually do that is I, I put a little glue against all of the edges that would touch and then I would set it like this and then I'd put like, you know, a heavy book or something on it to sort of hold it uh, in place while it's drying. So that's issue number one. Uh, the second issue that I've seen um, a few times is that uh, this uh, bobbin, or I'm, I'm sorry, this uh, pulley on the motor um, will slide back and forth uh, after shipping. And that should not happen. That, that, that pulley should be firmly attached to the motor shaft there. Uh, and if, if it's not, then um, if it's not firmly attached to the motor, then uh, the glue there broke. And again, I used super glue, which I, I think the sun and jarring during shipping is, is causing the issue. So in the future, we're going to switch to um, an epoxy, which should be uh, much better there. Um, but again, this is probably something you can kind of glue into place yourself. And, uh, you know, I think if you've got super glue, that works. If you've got epoxy, that's even better. Uh, but you, you know, just sort of glue it back in place and, and make sure that the uh, drive belt is aligned. And uh, again, let it sit while it, for a little while while it dries and, and you should be, you know, back in action. Uh, of course, if, any, if people have these issues, you know, please let me know. Uh, I want to know how many of these kinds of issues are out there. And, um, you know, if, if there are issues, I'll, you know, replace the wheel if necessary. But uh, hopefully people can, um, you know, try to help out and, and fix their issues locally. But, uh, you know, we'll do whatever needs to be done to uh, get the uh, spinners out there happy with the electric wheel. So thanks for watching.